gentleman is a minister, and his goals were to be able to read scripture from the pulpit and to read at home for pleasure. The Amigo enables him to do both. Notice how the screen tilts for comfort and glare control. It's very lightweight, portable, and is battery operated. And he's reading a magazine at home in this picture. He chose the black background with yellow writing, which allows him to read with comfort. For those that are sensitive to glare, the black background is preferred over the white background. The Amigo allows him to read comfortably from the pulpit. He is also able to read at home with it and often connects it to his TV so he has a larger screen. He's able to sit in his easy easy chair and read again for pleasure. Now this student needs an electronic magnifier in all of her classes. Again, the Amigo is lightweight and portable and is perfect for carrying from class to class. The magnification level is a 3.5x to a 14x. She also has the ability to use the larger TV screen at home. Now the Da Vinci is our very newest electronic magnifier. And uh, it has a HD, OCR, crystal clear picture, and text-to-speech. And um, not only does it enlarge things, it also reads it to you. And it reads it with very understandable speech. It will even highlight the word as it's being read. I see so many applications for this, not only for our older individuals that may have suffered a stroke and are learning to read again, but also for the student with dyslexia. The uses for this is infinite. Our next section is one of my very favorites. And thank y'all so much for putting up with us. I think this is kind of an humbling experience for Janet and myself. This is our first really big webinar. So thank you for bearing with us. Make it happen and get cooking. How can low vision technology work for you in the kitchen? Try a new recipe or whip up one of your old favorites. Enjoy spending time in your kitchen again. Well, today we are going to start out with meeting a gentleman named Mr. Hancock. And Mr. Hancock has macular degeneration. He's lost a good portion of his central vision in both of his eyes, and he's very dependent on magnification to help him through the day. Now, the Acrobat LCD monitor is sitting next to the stovetop on the counter. I've got the camera aimed directly over the skillet where he's frying his egg. Now, without, max, without the magnification and the extra magnification that he's boosted this up to, it's going to be hard for him to determine if that egg yolk is just right for sopping with his biscuit this morning. And if most of you know anything about Southern man, it's that sopping with your biscuit is very, very crucial. It can make or break your day. So with this Acrobat, it takes the guesswork out of overcooking his egg. Now I would say, and I think you would too, that this is a successful morning in the kitchen because his egg is looking pretty good. Now I have chosen Acrobat for this section. There's other, uh, other um, devices available through Enhanced Vision, but this is particular device is my personal favorite for the kitchen. Now moving right along, this is the next slide it has to do with reading your cookbooks and reading your recipes. Have you struggled with reading your recipes lately and trying to stay on task with the ingredients that you need? Now, this is the Acrobat LCD again, and we just moved it from the side of the stove to the countertop where I'm going to begin to gather my ingredients. Now, first of all, with the camera in reading mode, we can magnify the recipe to whatever level you need it to be for easy reading. I want you to notice the line markers around the very first ingredient. The line markers will help you stay on task as you move down the recipe and even down into the instructions. Line markers and other special options, including the freeze frames and assorted background colors made through, these are made through available through the uh, remote control, which we have laying there on the cookbook. If you're wondering what that big black thing is there on our cookbook, that's the remote control. So you have the ability to do all these extra options on that. Now, I've set the background color as enhanced positive for a brighter look 
and the black letters just seem to pop off the page. But there's many other options for color because as you know with low vision, contrast is so important. Now there's plenty of room underneath to work mixing and stirring your ingredients and we highly recommend that you begin to gather your ingredients for this New Orleans red pudding before cracking the first egg. And by the way, if you're interested, this is a wonderful recipe. And if y'all enjoy a coffee, please request it through Enhanced Vision. And we'll send you a recipe. And as we say down here in the South, it is slap your mama good. Now our next frame is the Acrobat, and it's going to be in distance mode. We've moved it, okay, from reading to distance. And we're viewing and scanning the back of the stove top for your favorite spice. And Mr. Hancock here, he selected cilantro, not for the bread pudding, by the way. And this will put your camera into the distance mode that's autofocused, and it allows the camera to magnify the dials on the stove top, as well as the clock, and even the menu features that may be hard for you to read. Now, on a safety note, we encourage you to use the front two burners of your stove top. Try to do as much cooking on those burners as possible. You know, it's the little things like finding the correct spice for your favorite dish, or feeling confident that your stove dial is on medium low instead of high. This is the type of thing that can, that can make or break your day. Now, this is a picture of the Acrobat in my pantry. Now, is your pantry a nightmare when it comes to finding the bottle of Worcestershire and when you realize that you've added soy sauce to your food instead? Well, it can happen. And according to some of my low vision clients, it does, but not anymore. Notice in this slide that I positioned my Acrobat camera to look directly into my pantry shelves. Now we're actually about 10 feet away and the camera is in distant mode. Full color and magnified just to see, just enough to see the detail on the label. Now I can scan my shelves to find the correct bottle that I'm looking for. And today I'm focused on the title of the food item. Not the nutrition facts or the tiny little print on the label, but I'm focused on actual title, that bigger print. And although I could still read the little print, I'd have to zoom in a little closer, either with the remote or the buttons that are on the camera head, which, by the way, you can see those buttons in your uh, right, upper right-hand corner. Now, save steps by going back and forth to the pantry. Quit doing that. Gather all your ingredients up. You're going to love this Acrobat and its features for the kitchen. And I love it, and I think you will too. Now, here we go. All right, make it happen. Take a class. How can low vision technology work for you in the classroom? Put low vision technology to the test in your next class. Classes where the teacher uses the board a lot often create problems for students with low vision. The transformer is great for high school and college students because it's used with a laptop, and many students use computers, so sighted students accept it. The transformer has a three-way camera for reading distance, near, and self-viewing, so the student can watch the teacher work a math problem, take a picture of the completed problem, save it in their document, and then retrieve it when they get home to help them with homework. This makes their life so much easier. It's also available to use with a monitor only or a desktop computer. It weighs less than three pounds, and it comes with a backpack and a battery charger. Now this gentleman has RP, retinitis pigmentosa, so he's also photophobic. Notice that he's wearing dark shades, and he's got the background color on the Acrobat LCD in black. This feature allows a lot of comfort for folks with light sensitivity. On a side note, he has just received special contact lens that only allow a minimum amount of light in, so he doesn't need to wear his dark glasses anymore. Now, I've known him since he was a very little boy, and he's always had to wear dark shades. Now, with these contacts, 
you can see his beautiful eyes, and I am so happy for him. He is a senior this year. Now this young lady has albinism. She's never been able to see the board or able to look at the books on the bookshelf from her desk. This picture shows her checking out books on the bookcase across the room with the acrobat. The acrobat has a three-way camera so she can read her books on her desk and take notes using it. And she can even use it to apply makeup, which is a good thing if you're young and cute like she is. It almost scared me to death when I tried it, so warning, you may see things you don't want to see with the acrobat. This young man is using the Amigo to read his textbook. Notice the two wheels on the side for increasing the size and changing the color. There's a writing stand that comes with it so you can get a pen in under it to write. It comes with two batteries that he charges at night so he never has to worry about his battery running low at school. Our next section has to do with hobbies. Are there things that you would love to do but have difficulty with? Let low vision technology help you hook a jig to your fishing line or bring the outside in. Our first slide is pretty interesting, and I wonder how many of our viewers recognize what's going on in this slide with the Merlin LCD. Well, let me share a little bit of background and a little hint. This guy is a South Louisiana Cajun man who loves to fish the bayous with his jig pole and beautiful, colorful jigs. Now, the jigs are really small and sometimes tedious to deal with until you lay them underneath that camera on the Merlin to work on. Carl uses this magnifier, among others, for his fishing expedition. The ability to get this jig attached to the hook correctly under increased magnification, it can make a difference in the big catch for the day or not making it happen at all on the bayou. He actually has thought outside the box, and we encourage you to do this. And the Merlin comes in a 19-inch, a 22-inch, and a 24-inch screen. It allows plenty of room for your hands to get under the unit for creative, fun activities and hobbies that you may have given up due to low vision. Now, that Merlin Plus, as Janet had mentioned previously, it's available to link to your computer also. Now, there's a newer version of the Merlin family. It comes in the HD for high definition or the OCR, the Merlin Elite, which is a talking unit. And all of them are awesome. Now, our next screen has to do with money, which these two girls seem to enjoy probably a little too much, maybe. But on a, on a that's just a personal note. Um, let me introduce you to the newest member of the Pebble family. This is a handheld electronic magnifier. Her name is Pebble Minnie. She's petite, and she's sleek, and she's full of everything you want in a portable video magnifier. The ability to magnify, change background colors on the screen, take a snapshot of what you're reading and save it to your computer, you can freeze frame a picture and more. It's small enough for you to carry in your pocket or wear around your neck. It's being used in this picture to show detail of coin collecting. Now, Janet and I both are avid coin collectors. We just lean towards spinning our coins instead of saving them or collecting them. And our husbands will agree with that statement probably in a heartbeat. Now, on a side note, did you know that Abraham Lincoln can be seen sitting in his chair in the center of an older penny? If you decide that you'd like to call Enhanced Vision and get a demonstration in your home, Check it out when the Enhanced Vision representative comes for a demo. Have your penny waiting for him. Place it under the center of the Merlin and increase the magnification and smile because Abe is there. It's really pretty neat. One of our veterans showed us this when we made a delivery one time, and it really was a pretty cool deal. Now, our next photo is bringing the outdoors in, and this is my personal favorite. This is the hummingbird feeder in my backyard. Now, with the Acrobat LCD in the distance mode, you can point the camera at anything in your yard and beyond. It goes for a pretty good distance. Now, I love my hummingbirds. 
So I pointed the camera directly on the feeder, and now I can watch the monitor inside my home. Now the magnification is set fairly high on this because I didn't want to miss those speedy little birds getting a sip of nectar. Now after trying to capture a picture of those speedy little birds for hours on end, I cannot tell you how much time I spent trying to capture the bird at the, at the silly little feeder. Now notice I said I tried. I tried really hard. I needed a sip or two of something myself. So don't give up on the beauty of nature and the things that make you smile inside. Make it happen in your life. Now, Janet is dying to tell you of her experience with the hummingbird feeder herself. Well, I'm dying to tell you about my business partner. She's a very sweet lady, but she's a perfectionist when it comes to work. And she put me in charge of taking pictures of the hummingbirds. And I set up the acrobat at my house, and I would wait. And every time a hummingbird would come by, something would happen. The phone would ring. Somebody would knock at the door. And I wasn't able to catch a picture. And she kept calling me saying, well, we have to have a picture of a bird. So I got a little artificial bird and put out on the, the feeder and said, oh, you want a bird? I'm going to give you a bird. So I took a picture of that and sent it. She didn't find the humor in it that, that afternoon. And I noticed that that picture is not in our slide presentation either. But it is hard to take a picture of them. But I promise you, you really can watch them with your acrobat. That's right. Now, our next screen, this is the Merlin HD. This is one of the newer units that's just out on the market. Oh, those beautiful blue eyes and the face of an angel. This unit is a 22-inch. It also comes in a 24-inch screen, and it gives you the ability to see detail like you've never seen before underneath the camera. This is great for scrapbooking, crafts, Looking at pictures that you stuff away in shoe boxes and photo albums, genealogy research, examining the census report. I mean, I could go on and on. Think of all the special activities you may have set aside. And now you have the opportunity to get your box of crafts out again. Now, I recently covered the table, the XY table. I locked it. And I covered it with wax paper. And I gave myself a manicure. The detail of my nail was just incredible, and the color just popped off the screen. Make it happen. Get healthy. Are you able to read your prescription label? Draw your own insulin? Let us show you how low vision technology can help you maintain your independence. For those with low vision, being able to identify medications accurately is a necessity. The Pebble 4.3 with a handle extended works beautifully for this. It's also great for taking grocery shopping and looking at ingredients in the food. The Pebble is just perfect for this. Now this gentleman is drawing B12 using the Merlin. It's also great for insulin or any other medication that has to be drawn into a syringe. Notice that there is a sheet of black paper and a sheet of white paper to the right of the Merlin. Now, he keeps those handy in case he needs added contrast. Color and contrast are critical for those with low vision. And sometimes the low-tech solution is of simply placing a different colored piece of paper on the table is the best solution. Boy, don't, don't we wish that everything was written in print this easy to read. This is the mini pebble, and it's another great device for taking shopping. It's especially important for those with diabetes or hypertension to check ingredients, and it's so difficult to do that when you have low vision. The mini pebble is so small and lightweight and easy to carry around your neck or put in your pocket. The Merlin's also great for keeping a log of blood sugar or blood pressure. It amazes me that so many of the diabetics that I work with don't check their blood sugar. And when I try to discuss the importance of doing this with them, they have many reasons for not doing so. It's interesting how many don't have a glucose meter that they can read, even though there are so many large print and talking meters on the market. And when I question those that do keep food, uh, check on their blood sugar, they check it every day, but they don't keep a log, they usually tell me that they can't see to write them. So not only will the Merlin enlarge the log, so you can see where to write, the XY table locks in place, so writing is very easy. 
Our next section has to do with getting out and about and on the move. Would you like to get out and do more? Of the places you'll go, experience one of our ultra-portable, lightweight, low-vision devices and get moving. We want you to put your traveling shoes on. Now, the first stop we're going to make is at your favorite restaurant. Now, the waiter has handed out the menu, and you can't make out the words. Maybe it's the size print, or maybe the lighting in the room, or it may just be your visual acuity. But it's not happening for you. And are you tired of saying, oh, I'll just have what she's having, or I'll take the chicken and be safe? Well, we want you to check out this picture. This is the Pebble 4.3 handheld electronic magnifier. This is just one of several options for the person on the move. It's awesome, and it offers so much in the way of magnification options. Different background colors to choose from, freeze frames, and the lightweight portability. It's rechargeable, and it has a leather case for on-the-go. Now, just think. Now, realize this menu is Louisiana. You could have missed the fried alligator bite for an appetizer. And on a little side note, I want you to notice the manicure. Those are my nails after I painted them underneath the Merlin. Not bad, huh? Now, our next screen, this is the Vietnam Memorial Wall. Last year, we had the traveling Vietnam Memorial Wall come through our town for several days. People traveled from all over to pay their respects or to see a particular name on the wall. Janet and I offered to be available for magnification services if they needed it. And several people took note of what we had to offer and stated that they almost stayed home because they felt like it was just fruitless to try and see any names on the wall. But one veteran named Gary stands out in my mind. He served in Vietnam in 68, 69, and he had a couple of buddies, two buddies, as a matter of fact, that were killed in combat. Their names were on this wall. But Gary couldn't see them. All he could do was feel the wall. He could not see the names until we walked over with the Amigo magnifier. We adjusted the magnification higher and higher until he could actually see those names. Now, what did it mean to Gary? Well, in his words, it meant closure. It brought some closure over his two buddies' death. Seeing the wall and seeing their names meant a great deal to him. He was so thankful to us, but it also offered an opportunity to provide a solution for other things that were in his life other than this particular event. We are so pleased that you're watching this webinar this morning. Your session and this search for options and low vision technology to help you stay independent through enhanced vision products is priceless. There are dealers like Janet and I all over this country, actually around the world, wanting to help you find a solution to your goal. Now the next photo has to do with getting around and the map. Here's an answer to staying on track in the passenger seat and in the driver's seat for those who are the the driver's eyes, so to speak, when you're watching that map. Notice the clarity of the screen and the detail of the cities listed. The highway numbers and the comfort of having the magnification device in your lap while traveling. And again, this is the Amigo. On the go, in the home, at work, or at school, believe me, it works. Now, our last picture in this segment has to do with the Pebble Mini. I want you to notice the size of the Pebble Mini. It's very small. Now, this is Maggie, and we, typed, we titled this one, uh, Hello, Hollywood. Now, I asked Maggie and her friend if they'd be models for the Pebble Mini, and, of course, I, I knew they would. They're both really big hams. Maggie is the young woman that will be on the left of your screen. She's a blonde. She's a university student sorority sister, homecoming court cheerleader, and a terrific young woman with a 4.0 grade point average since first grade. Maggie also has albinism and low vision. Now, I'd like for you to just to point out to you that nothing holds this young woman back in accomplishing her goals. You can see it in her beautiful smile that she enjoys life to its fullest. 
And the Pebble Mini is just one of the low vision devices that keeps her moving all day long. So we, we do want you to check out the size of the petite Pebble Mini and the cord that's hanging down. She can put that cord around her neck for easy access while she's out and about. And it's small enough for her to put in her purse or in her pocket. But Maggie's like most students with low vision and prefers not to draw attention to her need for magnification in the classroom, at her work, shopping, or play. And the Pebble Mini offers this option to many of our students on the go. Remember, this device saves what she wants and she can download to her computer. And need we say more, it really works for her. And we hope that it's going to work for your needs, too. Make it happen. In your home and on the move, let low vision technology work for you. Now, the next few slides that I'm going to show you are successes with low vision. Now, Eric is a professional in the field of blindness and uses electronic magnification as well as Braille. He's a husband, a father, a highly respected professional, and uses whatever it takes to get the job done. He uses Braille as his preferred reading medium. But if he needs to see an algebra problem to help one of his students, or if he needs to see a map, he can use electronic magnification. Now, this is not a big stapler that he's holding, even though it looks like one. This is the transformer. And by the way, I've known Eric since he was in kindergarten, and I had the pleasure of being his teacher from first grade through high school. And uh, now I have the pleasure of working with him. So it's a real joy. Oh. Now, I have to tell you, I went and took pictures of Eric, and um, Eric does not smile on demand. We took probably 20 pictures, and we have laughed about this, because the old boy just can't smile when you say, okay, on three, smile, just doesn't work for him. <laughs> so we kind of giggled about that. Now, moving right along to the next slide. Okay, this is a high school student. And she is thrilled that she can read the board without getting out of her desk and walking to the front of the classroom for the first time since she started school. It's awesome to see the difference that occurs in these students' lives once they're able to achieve in the classroom. Self-esteem soars. Look at that smile. Now, we call this little lady Miss Mercedes or Hallelujah Lady. She had just moved back in her home after Hurricane Katrina when the Lions provided her with this Merlin. She had been displaced for over a year and had lost almost all of her material possessions. Her house was salvaged and renovated, and she felt blessed to be able to be home again. Her goals were to read her Bible, pay her bills, and manage her medication. When she saw that she could accomplish all of her goals, she leaned back in her chair, raised her hands, and said, Praise the Lord, you've given me back my life. And we snapped this picture. We also said hallelujah. This student is using her acrobat to do her classwork and told me that she could finish it as quickly as the other students in her class. I don't know if you realize what a big deal it is for a second grader to be able to finish her work in the same amount of time as her other second grade friends. But it really is a big deal. And look at that smile. We have a wonderful way of making a living, and I tell you, it's just great when you can have all these successes. This concludes our program today, and we want to thank you for joining us. We hope we've been able to, to just bring you a little taste of something like we said before in different areas of your life, whether it be reading, cooking, learning, hobbies, self-care and health, or on the go. Again, if there is something that you're interested in, just for a complete webinar, there was no way that we could capture every single device in more low vision tips and just being able to share on a, a more detailed level. So contact Enhanced Vision, whether it be by phone or by email, Low vision technology is amazing. It's changing, and it's changing the lives of others. So again, thank you for the benefit of coming to your home and welcoming us. Um, it's been a pleasure.
Okay, Kathy so uh, and Janet, we've got a couple young man is reading a question on the Merlin. Uh, if you have any questions, we'll do our best to answer. And if we don't have the answer, we'll find the answer for you. Okay, can, uh, can you hear me, Kathy? Yes. Okay, great. We've got a couple questions here that are coming in. And if anybody has a question, go ahead and type it in in the question box on your screen. We've got a question from Mary Ann. Uh, the question is, how often do you have to recharge portable batteries? My Pebble needs to be recharged every two hours. Is that uh, pretty accurate? Okay. On the Pebble, I would say that she probably needs to call the technology department and enhance vision. If she's using this device continually, I mean for two hours straight, um, it should be lasting a little bit longer than the two hours, I would think. Your rechargeable batteries, sometimes, you know, you need to get them updated. It depends on the, the length of time that you've had them in the unit. But this is a good technology question for, um, for Rick or for Michael. So tell, ask her to, to give, a, give a call to technology. Yeah, and one of the things that I'd like to say, too, is that um, it's, I love that the Pebble has just regular batteries, rechargeable batteries you can buy at Walgreens or, you know, wherever. And uh, it's not like a special battery that has to come from the factory. So call in, and it may be just a simple um, solution as buying new batteries. Okay, great. We've got another question from Michael. Uh, his question is, could this be used with someone who has no central vision and has limited peripheral vision? Uh, the Pebble Mini is, is what he's referring to. You know, that's one of those things he, he may be able to use it, and that's why you really need to try these devices out. Um, a lot of people with central vision loss, I work with so many people with macular degeneration that have the central loss. But um, I try to teach eccentric viewing, which is just looking a little over to the side and finding that space with your eyes where you can see the best, the clearest. And um, with Merlin especially, I love that enhanced vision, um, have the insight to be able to create that screen where it moves so people that don't have central vision can uh, see it very comfortably without having to turn their head a certain way or keep their eyes locked in a certain position. But with the mini pebble, a lot of people with central vision loss can use them. Some people can't, and that's just when you need to call and get you a free demo in your home. I hope that answered your question. Okay, uh, another question we've got is, it's from Matthew, and his question is, can the Amigo be used for distance viewing in a classroom environment as well? No, it doesn't have that capability. The great thing about the Amigo is that it's so portable uh, and that it comes with the two batteries so you can use it in class. But you, if you want a bigger screen so you get a bigger field, you get more words on uh, the screen, you can hook it up to a regular television set when you get home, but it doesn't have the capabilities of viewing distance. For that, you would need to use uh, the Acrobat or the Transformer, or the Great. new Divinity, which I haven't seen yet. Great. We've got a question from Sherry Williams, and uh, this question really can apply to a lot of people. Is there a place my mother can go to try out some of your products herself? Do you have a traveling team? Ooh, good question. Where, uh, I would love to know where she's located and uh, in what state. And But the answer to that question is, yes, I mean, Janet and I are actually a traveling team. We go to you. The majority of our clients do not drive. Therefore, we do not have a storefront. We're kind of like peddlers almost. <laughs> uh, so we travel to our clients, and we meet them in their homes. We have the opportunity not only to be guests in the home, to be able to evaluate the home, check out the situation with glare and, and safety issues, uh, whether it be rugs or in the kitchen, but we come to you. So yes, we are a traveling team. If you're in Louisiana, Mississippi, or part of Florida Panhandle for that matter, but um, most of our dealers with enhanced vision 
they make exceptions to the rules. And, you know, call. Call EV. Get the phone number for your direct dealer. Find out. They may have a storefront, but they may be just like us and come to you. So that's kind of on an individual state basis. Great. Okay, we've got another question from uh, Marianne. Uh, her question is, do people... How do people safely draw insulin when their hands are under the screen? Well, the hand, you have plenty of space under the screen to draw the insulin, and you're looking at the screen to see whether or not you've um, got the needle inserted into the insulin bottle correctly. Uh, it takes a little practice, but I've got people that do it all the time. And then you're able to turn that syringe so you can see the numbers on it. It's enlarged enough so that you can see the numbers so you can draw it safely. But usually Great. what I uh, do, another. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, okay. I'm sorry. I was almost finished and then I thought of something else. But um, I work with home health nurses and I work with family members when there's an older person that needs to draw insulin until they know that the person's safe. Um, so um, it definitely works for, for some people. Okay? Thank you. Great. Uh, one more question. We have time for one more question. Uh, this is from Gail. My mother already has a Merlin, so we have a big screen in the kitchen. Could we buy the Acrobat camera, attach it to the window, and send pictures to this screen? Then mom could see her birds in the backyard, similar to the slide you had. Oh, boy, I wish that would work. That would be great. But no, you can't attach, if I have heard the question correctly, the camera for the Acrobat only works for the Acrobat. It wouldn't work in conjunction with the Merlin desktop. Now, they do make a different versions of the Acrobat where you can use your own monitor. That may be something that they may want to look into. Instead of buying the Acrobat with the screen, if you already have a monitor, a computer monitor, you can link it to that. So um, there are some different options, and that's something that you would definitely want to discuss with your enhanced vision rep. But no, it's not going to link with the Merlin. Yeah, and get the dealer to come out and set it up so that you can see if she's going to be able to enjoy looking outside, if she'll be able to to see the hummingbirds, but if she's able to use the Merlin successfully, she should be able to use the Acrobat also. Yeah, I hope that answered your question. Great. Thank you very much. Actually, we'll take one more quick question, uh, and it is, and sorry for everybody else that posted questions. I know there's a lot of questions. We're, we're running out of time here, so we're just going to take one more. What would you say would be a good starter product for someone who might be a bit afraid of technology? I think that's a great question. That is a wonderful question, and most of the older people that I work with don't like technology. I'm 57 myself, and I, you know, sometimes with a new computer program, I'm apprehensive, so I understand that completely. Um, but a good starter project, really, um, it would depend on what their goals are. Do they want to read a menu in the restaurant? So maybe they would want something that's portable and lightweight. Or do they want to read their mail in the privacy of their home? then maybe they might want a Merlin or something that's got a bigger screen. So um, that's kind of an individual question, and it's hard to answer because there's so many uh, different acuities and different uh, goals that people want. So always it's based on the patient's goals. According to what she would want would determine then what product that would, would be the best for her. But I wouldn't go with something that would link to a laptop or a computer. I would go with something that's just self-contained. And I'd like to say um, almost every, well, really, every one of Enhanced Vision products, they're very direct. I mean, the knobs, the buttons, everything's just really out front, up front, and personal. There's nothing that's going to be hidden. It's easy access. Even if there's a little bit of an issue with motor skills, you really have those ability to, um, to use most any device. Even the pebble, you can use it as a stand magnifier, or you have the capability of opening that handle and using it as a handheld. But if you've got a little bit of a tremor in your hand, then you're going to want to use it as a stand magnifier and not with the handle. But those are options. 
Right, and I use the Merlin with a lot of older people and a lot of children because they're so simple to use. If you look at the picture that's on your screen now, uh, on the right you've got a power button, so you only have that to push on and off. In the center you have a round button, so that's going to make the size either smaller if you've got it turned all the way to the left, or larger if you turn it to the right. And then uh, the next little uh, button over to the left is kind of square, and that one is for mode. So if you wanted to change the background color, you know, from uh, white to black, say, you could press that button. So it's very, very simple. So I love that. And we are so sorry we don't have time to answer everyone's question. Emma, perhaps if you could just email us those questions, we'll be happy to uh, email an answer to them. Or, um, you know, they're, they're welcome to call and, and hopefully somebody can answer their, their question. Thank you all Thank you so much, much for joining us in. today. Great. Thank you very much, Kathy and Janet. We really appreciate the webinar. You did a great job. I hope everybody listening in enjoyed it as much as we did. And if anybody has any questions, the best bet is give us a call at the number you see on the screen, 888-811-3161. And we have an entire team standing by here that will answer any question you have and refer you to a local dealer in your area across the entire nation that can come out to your house and demonstrate these products for you or answer any questions you have. And uh, with that, I'd like to wrap it up. Thank you very much. And, um, and that's it. Everybody have a great day. Thank, Thank you. you. See you all. Bye. Bye-bye.